Hi guys, this is Gary from Kutukopter and this is a technical update on trying to understand why would your drone just hover after returning and not want to land even though you felt you tried everything. So let's go through the process and we'll hope you uh, hope this can help you understand to avoid the situation because sometimes one just forgets to do something simple and everything appears to be different. So normally you would start your motors, you would take off by pushing the throttle upward and mostly you would climb to 20 meters or more. Some of you may bring the throttle back to the middle, others may leave it up at the top. The point here is if the throttle is just above half, this is one of the starts of the actual problem. Once you've pushed your drone forward and then you release, you're going to be over the place where you would like to drop your bait. So you drop your bait and what's very important here is to put that switch back up to the top into its default position after dropping the bait. Then you would return home, hit the return home switch and then you wait for all the good things to happen. When the drone now gets back to you, you expect at this point that it should now land. However, we failed to observe one small criteria, in fact maybe two. One, the throttle is just above half and two, the auto switch is actually down and not up. If you are unaware that this is the circumstances that you're in, even if you try and disengage and take over manually using the GPS switch, that's not going to do anything. It's going to continue hovering because the command to say auto land is still in place. The important part here is if you find yourself with your drone just hovering, do the following. Put this stick in the middle. Make sure the auto land is at the top and then toggle the GPS switch down once and back up. That will disengage the auto mode. At this point, you should have full control over the drone. If you don't, check once again that this stick is half or just below that must be up disengage and then you can land the drone manually if you like you can even simulate this whole process yourself to go through it by doing exactly what i said keep the throttle up after dropping the bait return home keep that switch down and then wait for the drone to land you'll see that through this simulation you can practice this in a safe way keep that up just below half, manual control, land your drone. We hope that helps. Thanks.